Good morning, Libra. Happy New Year, everybody. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the main deck. I have Tarot the Abyss for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found um, down below in the description box. So I have a Magician Energy and an Ace of Wands Reverse Energy. Magician Energy is a very magnetic time. Of, I, I got Powerhouse time. It's a very... You know, it's interesting because the magician has all these aces on his table. He's got all the aces. And next to it is an ace of wands reverse. And for some of you Librans, you might just really be focused on everything but other people. You know, let's see what this ace of wands, five of cups reverse, emperor reverse. So let's just see where this is going. If this is going to be more geared towards a work read. Look at the death card. Even a lot of, in another major, a lot of majors right there, Libra. So let's see what's going on here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. If you are a Libra, know a Libra. Feel like being a Libra. Librans, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Libra and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Libra. It could resonate as the main story and Libra could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Libra or for a Libra. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages for the Librans. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more time around one more time around alrighty what is the energy for Libra that needs to come out what is the story for the Librans what is the story for the Librans eight of wands this is a lot of energy moving forward putting your ship back into the water what's influencing the eight of wands what's influencing the eight of wands get clear thinking with that yeah seven of swords reverse interesting because that's aquarius aquarius is king of swords which is your other half but a seven of swords reverse is i get a lot of focus it's tech you know what's interesting with the eight of wands even though it's a fire element the wands are flying through the air so you get an air vibe here so i really feel your head the energy coming in is a very focused energy on one specific task. What's the reason for the reading? What is it? Yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. That is Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana card of the Empress, but it's 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 knowing your worth, but it's also money in the bank. What's in the past? What's in the past, Libra? Five of Pentacles. And somebody could have made you feel out in the cold. So, um, but it also could be around debt. And like I said, finances, I feel like your money's picking up big time. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? The page of pentacles. You could use more of that. I feel like you have a new offer. Something's taking you from this five of pentacles on your mind is really thinking about it. And it's going to put you on a different track. I want to say the track to success because reason for the reading, I, I, I feel like you could really envision what you could do with this extra money. It's going to be hard to turn it down. What's in the near future? What is it? Six of swords reverse, but then you got the fool and the world reverse. Should I get it? Should I stay or should I go? I really feel like there's an opportunity for you to really level up here, but there must be some type of... There's going to be some type of move or something that you are really going to have to think about. I'm really getting a strong, should you stay or should you go? On one hand, you're going to have more money, but there might be a change of address or a change of zip codes or you know what I mean? What is this eight of wands center of the reading? And I feel almost like with this eight of wands, somebody wants an answer quick. What's this eight of wands center of the reading? And you're going to be like, I don't know. Eight of Wands, center of the reading. High Priestess, reverse. High, the High Priestess talks about what the soul needs. It's a card of the soul. Okay, give me one more card. High Priestess, reverse. Cancer. And the Five of Wands. So if you currently are in a situation and some of you are going to resonate, if you do resonate, it's going to be love. Some of you, it might be a work read for you. 
I feel like something recently went down. Seven of Swords reversed, you could have even busted somebody out. Maybe somebody lied or manipulated. Somebody who kept you out in this Five of Pentacles. And an Eight of Wands, I feel like you are putting yourself back out there. You're saying, I'm not on hold for this energy. Honestly, it feels like some of you have another offer that's going to take you away from this. And a Five of Wands... With the high priestess reverse, if this is a job for you, some of you, whatever this is, don't, don't compare yourself to others. It's interesting because the five of pentacles back here is a card of scarcity and comparing oneself to others. But a five of one shows, it looks like teenagers playing with sticks and they're, everyone's trying to be the best. Everyone's trying to win in a five of ones. And there's one specific person in the center of the card wearing a hat, hat where he's just like, oh, I'm the smartest. I'm the bravest. And it just feels like for some of you, you might be in a situation where it's very hard not to compare yourself to others. But a high priestess reverse means you have a voice to be heard too. I feel like you guys may have been silent in a certain situation and taking something that really doesn't align to you or you haven't, you've been watching it happening. And now I feel like you're finding your voice because the high priestess being reversed means you're no longer staying silent. And the five of wands, it's interesting because now it's two birds. It's not five, but there's two birds on this. So I feel like you're going to have a decision. I do feel like it, there's some type of decision here. What's the seven of swords reverse influencing energy? Look at that four of pentacles. This can be a very stubborn energy, but I feel like somebody's afraid to change. Not quite happy, but somebody was afraid of losing someone else or something else and I feel like you got tired of dealing with that type of energy also four of pentacles maybe if this is about your finances it, it's it's a very it's not like you're in a five of pentacles anymore but until something better comes along into that six to bring you in a 10 you're you're holding your own but I don't I don't really feel like a lot of happiness with the four of pentacles if that's the case, I feel like you are looking for other offers because I feel like for some of you, maybe your work life has become too toxic or a connection's been too toxic. What's the nine of pentacles reason for the reading, which I feel is the other offer. What is it? Yep. Knight of swords. Knight of swords is, I feel like somebody wants a decision soon. And I feel like you feel pulled towards this offer. You want this offer. But they're not giving you a whole lot of time to make up your mind. What's the five of pentacles in the past? And the star. Look at that. Give me one more card. Some of you, this is going to happen in Aquarius season. What's the what's the star in the five of pentacles? Something's bringing you, yeah, world reverse. Something's bringing you out of this cycle that has could have been a lot of debt or money's been really tight or dealing with players and something's pulling you from this cycle into a whole new way of being. I feel like you're getting out of the abyss is what it is, but there must be something weighing the other side or you would just be running with this offer. Something's got you being like, I need to, I just need more time. I think, I think you need more time and somebody's kind of pressuring you. What's the page of pentacles on your mind? And the death card, this is change. You know, by taking this, so much is going to change. You are leaving this way of thinking, this this way of life behind, and you keep, this person can't come with. It's so interesting because if this is a job, it's kind of like, okay, we need you sooner rather than later, and you don't even have time to sell or, you know, it's kind of like, it, it feels so quick. What's the Six of Swords reverse in the near future? Six of Swords reverse in the near future. And the Sun, the Sun reverse. I thought it was the Moon reverse. Why the Sun reverse? And the Three of Cups, which is a lot of times a coworker card. So why is Libra on the fence? Three of Cups, why does Libra on the fence? 
Queen of Swords reverse. You're having you're gonna have a hard time making this decision. That's a Queen of Swords reverse is needing. Maybe you're needing to go to a Three of Cups, your friends, your family to weigh this, you know, like what do they think about it? If this is a move, you could have family or kids, you know. There's just seems like a big, a big change here. But I want to say it makes reason for the reading. The Nine of Pentacles is a lot of happiness, a lot of financial stability. And somebody's offering this, but there, there's got to be some type of caveat here that's got you really thinking, should I stay or should I go? You want to go, but something is keeping you from completely surrendering to that yes. That's what it feels like. And maybe you have like an ex, you know, that is very controlling and you do have kids. There's just some, there's something at play here. That's going to have you thinking about this, I think, this week over this, uh, or whenever this resonates, when this happens. What does Libra want? Like, what is moon reverse? And I, I said the sun reverse felt like the moon reverse. The moon reverse is this. You want to be happy. Eight of wands, seven of wands. I think you want to take it. And I don't ignore your intuition, guys. Don't overthink something. Six of swords reverse can be feeling stuck on a decision when your heart, the high priestess is here, and that's the card of the soul. And I feel like there's an offer here that you could have manifested a long time ago. And now you're like, now that it's here, do I still want it? I think you do. There's just big, I, a big decision of leaving something else for it. So that's what I have for you. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys later. Take care.